Hey guys, Adish back again for another video and this time I'm gonna be doing a FIFA 15 gameplay review. So as soon as you open FIFA 15, this is what you get, this is your home screen. They give you the option, usually it will be kick off if you still haven't uh, made a career. If you have made a career, it's gonna say continue career. If not, it's gonna be saying kick off. Here they're gonna show your team's position, I mean here they're gonna show kick off if you've already made a career. And it's gonna show your favorite team, that's my United, team form and the position. Here you can go to tournaments and ultimate team. This is gonna be the team of the week. And here's the catalog where you can buy stuff from the store and use it in the career mode. And this is gonna be basic news about your friends and stuff. Here you can go to play, that's kick off, continuing your career. You can go to load career and new career. That you can make a manager mode or be a pro. Here are skill games to practice all your passing, your shooting and etc. Here you can go to practice arena where you can just basically run around with a player and shoot. Here is to select arena player and arena goalkeeper. Here is the ultimate team to play FIFA ultimate team. This is to create a new tournament. This is a custom tournament where you want to play with just your friends and not a BPL team etc. And this would be loading an old tournament. This is highlights of the week. This is players in form in, I'm assuming right now your team, I'm pretty sure it's your team and overall, but for now they're just showing me my team, I don't know why. And this is teams in form. Here you have online where you go to seasons, co-op seasons, online friendly and pro clubs. Basically this is just to play with a friend online, this is a co-op season with a friend, and this is where I create a club with a friend and play online. This is Match Day Live where they have news on what's new in the FIFA world by Goal.com. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is where they show your team versus who are they going to play next. So at once is Manchester United versus Arsenal. This is top scores from both the clubs of who was playing in your team versus who was playing in the next match. So that's Robin Van Persie only 3 goals for United versus Alexis Sanchez 8 goals for Arsenal. This is the teams in form, team form, sorry, for the next game. And this is going to be injuries and suspensions. This is the league table and this will show league top scorers. And here you can have customized where you edit and update squads, team sheets, you can create a player, edit player and delete a player. Profile where you can load a profile. Voice recognition if you have your mic attached settings to just jump your stuff. Online settings for your origin account. Credits and this is for the tracks that's going on, so the songs are playing in the background. Now, if you do press R3, you get the activities menu, the news, notifications, and the catalog where you can buy stuff with the FCC. That's put FIFA credit something. I'm not sure it's given on somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, and I keep forgetting what it's called. But yeah, you so you can buy stuff like I said, and if you want, you can gift stuff. So. You can gift an item to a friend, redeem it, etc. So you keep earning uh, FCCs each time you play a match basically. So even if you just play a friendly, like I play a friendly, and each friendly you get 150 FCCs. And here recently I did buy the Hyper and Boost bundle for my pro. That's here. And so yeah, so basically FIFA 15 is a pretty cool game. I love some of the features and the gameplay is amazing the graphics are out of this world and that's what i can say at least i mean each player looks so well it was the same for fifa 14 but the, i love the graphics also in fifa 15. uh the new feature as far as i know is emotions and i heard him well I mean, after playing it emotions is really amazing uh, last time I remember Rooney did not get a free kick and thus he acted, I um, mean, he started playing a bit aggressive during the game, he started fouling a bit more. And there's times when a player misses a goal and because of that during the whole game he plays a bit slow, he, his chances are a bit off, basically his mood is put off. So it does go a little bit well and the goalkeepers now have a whole bunch of new animations as well. And I'm not sure if this is old or new since I the last game I played was FIFA 13 for the Wii. I just played FIFA 14 sometimes on my friends PS4 and PS3. But from as far as I can tell, in playing a match, uh, just give me a second. You have goal news where they actually give you uh, news about all the matches going on. So basically, 
they go down to Martin Alan McAnally, I think, and he basically gives information about all of the matches going on. So he would be like, oh my god, York City scored a goal against uh, Hartlepool and this guy messed up while well, this guy took a shot. Or maybe but they might say like, this guy got a red card, etc, etc, so it's pretty cool. Of course, you have voice recognition where you can change your formation, you can uh, play counter-attack, you can do ex a whole bunch of stuff with voice recognition now, it's pretty cool. But for the moment, I have turned it off since I'm recording the gameplay. And game settings, uh, I don't think there's anything different in game settings as far as I can say. So yeah, uh, now let me just show you a quick, you know, gameplay of how the match is. And right now I'm just going to be showing the BFO season. Uh, I'm not sure what else is new from FIFA 14 to FIFA 15 and whether you should really buy FIFA 15. One reason I would say you would need to buy FIFA 15 is first and foremost, a lot of people, rather almost everyone would have changed from FIFA 14 to FIFA 15. So if you really don't like to play online, you're going to need FIFA 15 because really no one's going to be playing on FIFA 14. Also, uh, uh, the new squads are there only on FIFA 15, I think. Maybe they might be there for FIFA 14, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I suggest you do get FIFA 15. It's, it's really cool. Now. And so yeah, Returns here's the gameplay. Name. And we're into the second quarter of the season only, so goodness knows what he's going to finish with. No, uh, I mean, it doesn't I happen very often, but every time he takes to the pitch, the he must believe he's going to score. He usually does. Rather than just controlling the whole Harvey. squad, it seems a bit easier to control the whole squad. And I think should be this is the chance. Got to be. Still a chance yep, after that save. As usual. Uh, so I think I should be getting a goal now. And okay, yeah, I did get a goal. So that's five minutes in and only one goal. I should get this. For the looks of this, I should be getting a few seconds. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah, another new thing I forgot to mention is unfortunately I can't show it right now since I'm playing only as Adish and this is a uh, beer pro. Right now in the manager mode, I mean sorry, team management, you can actually adjust the player's position by pressing square. That means not only does it manage the formation itself, but in the formation you can move around the player, bit left, bit right, etc. It's pretty cool. Uh, the feature is pretty helpful. Well that's the first goal of the game, it's 1-0. Uh, yeah, and also if you guys do have to Let me just decrease the clouds volume, I mean, they're screaming too much. Of course, I did score, can't blame them, but you know. It wide now. Uh, unfortunately, while recording, I have to change quite a few settings, because usually you can't hear my voice, because the rest of FIFA's volumes are really high, which does get annoying quite Good a lot of times. Get to it. Oh crap, that was, that was a really bad mess up. Uh, the one thing I do hate about BFO is the arrow which keeps swapping up because I usually lose a lot of ratings just because I'm not in position and uh, so far I've never actually found a camera that suits BFO that much because every time I shoot the camera there's a one down point or the other and it really gets annoying. Really good side win, efficient 2 0. And uh, I can see them carrying it on and winning again. Cox. Also, if you guys are wondering why I'm in an Elite 2 team, I, was, I actually joined QPR, and the second I joined, they sent me on out for loan. So, yeah, I'm, I, I hate them. For right that. quickly to try and uh, win the ball back. Why find me if you're going to put me on loan immediately? I hate that. I hate that. Ooh, I thought I had a good one there. But should have probably cut left or cut right and got it away from the defender, but it's okay. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Throw in now. So, if you guys do like FIFA 15 videos, though, do tell me because well, my friend has also got FIFA 15. And that just wanted to do FIFA 15 Ultimate Team videos since apparently Cox. people like that. I'm not sure. I, I've never played Ultimate Nothing Team that much. That I prefer Beer Pro because, well. It's going to be his All the here. team is buying packs and cards, and I really don't care about buying a pack or buying a card. 
I pretty much like BFO since I get to make my own player and it's pretty fun playing as yourself. I mean, it's your own player, it's you playing online, it's you playing for an actual club. So yeah, it's pretty fun. But if you guys do like Alchemy Team, please tell me some, leave it in the comments and hopefully we can play Alchemy Team sometime. If we don't like Alchemy Team, of course we can play a friendly online, our co-op season. So yeah, do tell me what you guys like. And uh, hopefully I'll be making more FIFA 15 videos with my friend. Yeah. Okay, I have the ball, unfortunately. I think I'm going to lose it. Well, the yeah. away team, it's always tougher for the away team. And they come here with just five points from the last oh, five league on, games. On, yeah, on, it's been a little bit drab from their point of view. Not much excitement in their game at the moment. Hey, that's a foul. Peacefully, peacefully. Did I just trip over the ball? I'm not sure. Okay, okay, I just lost the ball. Jennings. I scored. It took me five minutes to score the no. first goal, and now it's been 40 minutes, and I'm still one goal up. And that's just pathetic. And uh, I think my manager asked for an overall rating of nine. It's pretty much Jennings. impossible. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's really hard, considering the fact that they literally take away a point one for anything and everything we do. If I lose the ball, I lose point one. If I'm out of position, I lose point one. So it's really hard keeping nine ratings. I mean, you need at least two goals for a rating of, I mean, a decent rating. You need around three to get a nine, I think. Unless you're always in position and you never lose the ball and you're passing for me. But I don't really care about the ma rating per match. Uh, I just need a season rating of 8.2 and 8.2 is pretty easy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was... That was the worst shot ever. Oh my god. Okay, if I continue like that, I'm not gonna get... Uh, a single goal. Go. Half that was a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think that was a left leg shot though, no, and I'm a. I put my player's main foot as white. Probably why. And plus, I have an overall of just 69. Yes, I know. I know. Hill. Immature people. Yeah, but still, I have an overall. Of, I mean, we'll yeah, overall in. rating of 69, and my shots not yet the best. With the right leg itself, I mean, left leg's completely pathetic. Oh, in goes the cross. And the okay, from the cross. still one nil. Alan. Uh, too heavy, too heavy. Josh uh, Thompson. Like I said, too heavy. So yeah. If you guys do have beer code, leave your rating below and how you got so high because honestly my defense is horrible. I need to complete a whole bunch of sliding. Oh my god, that hit the post. Okay, today is just not my day. I'm like seriously one post. The one-on-one -on -one miss. How much more close I can this get? And I'm, at, I'm actually at an 8.7 rating and I'm pretty surprised. Huh. Who knew? Okay, I think this should be another opportunity unless Great I mess up a game. And I did it. And as you remember, my favorite celebration is point to the star. Uh, uh, the sky, sorry. I think it's L1 triangle or L2 triangle or both. But yeah. So the 2 0 up and that should increase my rating since I did score 3 goals. I think I need to score another. Uh, I think I need to score an overall 20 goals okay, to get a plus one in shot. So, yeah, so, uh, in case you guys are wondering, now. how do you increase your player's Richards. ratings in FIFA 15, BFO, I'm not sure if it's the same in FIFA 14, but to increase a player's rating, you're supposed to complete a whole bunch of tasks, like score 50 goals, he gets plus one. Now, it, of course, it's from initial stages, so like score five goals score plus one, score 20 goals plus one, etc. And Really? Really? Ah, that's unfortunate.
So yeah, like that's it. Attacking uh, uh, position, 25 to 25 chances created, so I got plus one there. 10 out of 10 mental, I'll get an Each time you complete something, you get a plus one. So, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so ball skills increased. So basically each time, uh, defense, so it's just 22. Uh, right now, I think if I complete 10 out of 10 sliding tackles, it increases. So yeah, you're supposed to do stuff like that. And here you got player objectives, like I said. Um, average rating should be 8.1, I'm at 8.4. I need 27 goals this season, I've already got 15. Uh, assist, I'm way below target, I should be at 3 and I'm only at... Oh, okay, no, mind. I'm at 2. And shot, oh yeah, that's the worst. Goals to shot conversion per percentage. I'm supposed to score almost every time I shoot, basically. Okay, here they ask money for 27%, I'm at 31%, but it's really not that easy. So yeah, that kind of, that kind of sucks. So yeah, guys, that's basically FIFA 15. And I think I have covered everything. If I haven't covered everything, I will cover it in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please leave a review. I mean, write a comment, subscribe, and do like this video. And tell me where I can improve in my videos, how I can improve this also. And yeah, thanks for the information, guys. This is, oh yeah, this is no more Adish Rao that much. This is now Lord Ward. So if you guys are wondering why I made myself Lord Watt, it's just because me and my friend, we've always been known as Lord Watt in everything we do. So yeah, I'm converting everything to Lord Watt. So do subscribe to Lord Watt. But yeah, the videos are going to be basically just from me. So this is Adish slash Lord Watt. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching.